So once again, for today's video, I will be discussing the fingerprint classification system, which is specifically the Henry classification that was modified by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. So we are now on the third part of our uh, video series on the Henry classification system. And we are now going to discuss about the secondary classification. Secondary classification is placed on the right side of the primary classification. And this is our second step on the Henry FBI classification system. So this secondary classification involves the individual type of the fingerprint pattern coming from the two index fingers for the capital letter group and the other fingerprint for the uh, small letter group. Now the right index or the uh, right fingers will be our numerator or the block 1 to 5 will be the numerator and the left index and the other fingers taken from the left hand will be the denominator. So our first step in secondary classification is of course the capital letter group wherein it involves the index fingers meaning the right index and the left index. Again the right index will be the uh, numerator and the left index will be the denominator. So in this uh, particular group, we are going to use again the uh, atro CDX, meaning if that is a plain arch, we are going to use capital letter A. If that is a tented arch, we are going to use capital letter T. If that is a radial loop, we are going to use capital letter R. And then capital letter U for the ulnar loop and then W for a plain whirl and then capital letter C for central pocket loop whirl capital letter D for double loop whirl and capital letter X for the accidental whirl So for example, we have here a given table so, of course, it involves the two index fingers. So, since it is already given, during the blocking out, we will just copy actually and use capital letters. Let us make sure that these two are aligned, meaning the numerator and denominators are aligned with one another. Second step in secondary classification is we are going to apply the small letter group wherein it involves all fingers except the two index fingers. So we are going to use small letter A for plain arches, small letter T for tented arches, small letter R for the radial loop. And we have here a dash for the ulnar loop and other world patterns. Now this is uh, this small letter group is otherwise known as the ATR group because of this small letter ATR. So for example, we have here the same example that that we have used a while ago. So. Again, we are not going to include the two index fingers since we already identified the capital letter group. So let us proceed with the uh, block one or first block. So this is a radial loop. So we are going to place here small letter R there. And then followed by block three. Still, this is uh, a radial loop and then followed by the fourth block which is a dash since it is a whirl pattern and then if block this is tented so we are going to place here small letter T and then in our denominator we will start with 
black six so this is a world pattern so we are going to place here a dash and then uh, followed by the black eight so this is a plain arch so we are going to place here a small letter a and then next is the black nine so this is an ulnar loop we are going to place here a dash and then black 10 this is again an ulnar loop so we are going to place here a dash so if you are going to observe the uh, numerator and denominator are aligned with each other and uh, if the dash is located before or after the uh, small letter group or the capital letter group involved in secondary classification, dash will not be indicated. In other words, we are going to remove these dashes because they are located before and after each letters. But if the dash is in between, the dash will remain. So for this given example, we will not remove the dash in between because this would mean that an ulnar loop or a word pattern is in between the middle finger and the little finger. Take note that if we are going to remove the dash before or after the letters in the secondary classification, the letters will not move. So, the alignment should be maintained. This will indicate that this numerator and the denominator are aligned with one another. So just like in our example, it means that this belongs to the uh, black 1 and black 6. And we have here the second line. It indicates this, that this is our black 2 and black 7. The third line will be for the uh, black 3 and black 8. And then we have here the fourth line will involve the black 4 and the black 9. And the last line will involve the black 5 and the black 10. So in other words, we must maintain the alignment of the numerator and the denominator. So we have here another example under secondary classification. First, again, is uh, first step is to identify the capital letter group, which involves the two index finger. So, in this example, we have here a whirl and a tented arch. Since this is a whirl pattern, we are going to identify if that is a plain whirl, a central pocket loop whirl, a double loop whirl, or an accidental whirl. So, in this uh, example, this is a central pocket loop whirl. So, we are going to put capital letter C over T tented arch so this is the reason class why is it some practitioners are applying the atro CTX during the blocking out so that during the secondary classification they will just copy the letters from the given symbols and letters However, we will be using the uh, original rule to put simply W under the index finger during the blocking out. Now, moving on with our uh, small letter group or the ATR group. So, first again, we will proceed with black one. So, this is an ulnar loop. So, we are going to put here a dash. And then black three, we, this is a word. Let's put a dash. And then fourth block we have here and Ted. So we are going to put here a small letter T. And then next is we have here an ulnar loop. So we are going to put here a dash. And then block six. 
again we are going to put black 6 to 10 under the denominator so this is a plain arch so we are going to place here small letter t and then followed by black 8 we have here a word pattern so we are going to place here a dash and then followed by a radial loop so since radial we are going to place here small letter r and of course the black 10 which is an ulnar loop so we are going to put here a dash again um since these dashes are placed before and after the uh, capital and the small letter group we are going to re remove if it is located before and after or if it is located on both ends we are going to remove the dash and this will now be our secondary classification so since we are already done with our secondary classification we are going now to place it in our classification line so we are going to place on the right side of the primary classification so we have here we have here our secondary classification take note that the numerator and the denominator for secondary classification must be aligned to one another just like our example so if you're go going to observe we only have four lines so our uh, fifth line is uh, both dash it simply means that our black 5 and black 10 could either be an ulnar loop or any world patterns so that's it thank you again guys for watching this video so if you think that this video helped you a lot click the like button share this video if the information is worth sharing if you have questions takeaways and comments do not hesitate to comment below and of course don't forget to subscribe my channel Thank you again for watching. Hoping guys that you will watch all the video series on the following topics. Thank you once again.